Hey guys, what's up? I'm Christian Taylor, and today I am out here in the very windy downtown Nashville, and we're gonna be comparing the cameras of the iPhone 10R and the iPhone 10S. So does the telephoto lens on the 10S really add much functionality? That's what we're gonna find out today. Let's go take some pictures. So as you can see, the wide camera of the iPhone XS is identical to the wide camera of the iPhone XR. It's literally the exact same camera with no differences, which is why this is not a blind camera test. That would be pointless. The point of this test is to see if the second telephoto lens on the iPhone XS is worth the extra cash. So let's find out. So I gotta say, I kinda thought the telephoto lens was useless, but the more I'm doing these tests, I'm kinda seeing the telephoto lens is helpful. There's been quite a couple photos where I feel like that tighter focal length has helped kinda make the shot. The portrait mode is not too different. It's a little bit of a different perspective. The blur is about the same on each though, so I'd say go with whichever one you prefer on that. Hey, so something I forgot to test when I was out shooting downtown is what about the digital zoom? You may be sitting there going, well, Christian, wait a second. The XS has the second camera that is more zoomed in, but I thought I could zoom on my iPhone. What about taking a picture with my XR where I pinch to zoom in and do that? Isn't that the same thing? Well, first of all, the difference is it's not the same thing. The second camera on the iPhone XS is optically zoomed. Think of it as putting a magnifying glass in front of the camera. You're not losing any data, rather you're zooming in using glass and pulling everything closer to you. So there's no loss in quality. Versus on the 10R when you zoom in, you're taking that wide photo and you're cropping in you're losing data. But here is where my discovery got interesting. I decided to see what happens if I zoom in on the 10R to where it's the same as the telephoto camera on the 10S. And as you can see with these side-by-side -side comparisons, are we looking at the same camera? No, I'm not trolling. I actually digitally zoomed on the 10R to be as zoomed in as the telephoto lens on the 10S. And I don't know about you guys, but to me, the quality is so similar, which creates a bit of an issue. You see, here everyone is thinking that they're paying for this such better camera on the 10S. The average consumer always goes, oh, the camera's better on the 10S. But let's remember, the $250 price difference. So I gotta say, I am shocked at what's going on. At the beginning of my test, I was gonna say, yeah, that telephoto lens is worth it to have that option of zooming in, but I totally discounted the digital zoom on the 10R. And now that I can see the two side by side, the difference is insignificant. And I have to say, right here, right now, the iPhone XS camera is no better than the 10R from what I can tell. When you look at that $250 price difference, it's absurd. Now I don't wanna spoil my next video because I'm doing a video looking at the iPhone XS versus the 10R as a whole and all of their features and whether the 10S is worth the extra money in that regard. But let me just say that when it comes to the camera, there is no reason in my opinion to buy the iPhone XS. The 10R is for all intents and purposes exactly the same. So what do you guys think? Is it worth the extra $250 to get that telephoto lens? I'd love to know in a comment down below. And if you like this video, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss when I release new videos. With that said, I will catch you guys next time.